Me and my dad says to listen to people. Actually, in his words, he says, shut up and listen to what the other person <laughs> is trying to tell you. <laughs> but you know how to do both of these things. And it makes you a really good friend. And I just wanted to tell you that. Sincerely, me. <laughs> in many ways, Robin has been my daughter. In all ways, she has been my friend. I have laughed with her and wept for her and worried about her and rejoiced in her. And I've come to understand how deeply and truly she loves you and how much you love her in return. You both grew up so quickly and you continue to grow so bravely. I admire you and I celebrate you both. Dear Stone, Lois and I agreed we would write this to you together. I am sitting at the computer and she is leaning over the back of my chair and talking nonstop into my ear. A phenomenon with which I know you are familiar and which is endearing when you love her. But it means I'm having a little difficulty collecting my own thoughts, so this won't be as elegant as I'd like it to be. Stone, it's Lois now. In this case, I think we should forget elegant and just go for the heart of the matter which is, we both feel you are such a gift to us. I always wanted a younger brother, because older brothers think they know it all. And you are the younger brother of my heart, because we share so many interests and ambitions. And I love you very, very much. It's Ned again. This means you're kind of a brother-in-law to me. A great arrangement, because I think you're as classy an act as my wife. And more than that, I can't say about anything. And when the history of L&B Records, Lois here again, is written, there will be a special chapter on Stone and what he has meant to the company and all of us. We love you. Ed and Lois. Dear Stone, Sigmund asked me to give this to you with love from him and me, Lucy. I bet that you are thunderstruck to read doggerel from a duck. But Lucy's splendid waterfowl is wiser than the wisest owl. More clever far than jay or crow. I'll quack you up with what I know. <laughs> and, and what this poem means to tell is, don't I think that you are swell? Very truly yours, Sigmund. Dear Junior, my first impression was that you were a total screw-up. <laughs> this was also the subject of my first real argument with Corinthos. I did, however, from the start, appreciate your style in getting way up in Mac's face. <laughs> it reminded me of me at your age. My second impression was that Corinthos was right, I was wrong. This happens occasionally, infrequently, <laughs> rarely. <laughs> but there it was. You had potential. My current impression is that you are a man whom I would be damn grateful to have at my side or guarding my back in perilous times. I wish my friend Robert Scorpio could have known you. I'm glad I do. Thank you. Guys, I mean, this is just the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> but unless you guys want to see me cry for like the next two hours, you got to let me take this home and I'll read a little bit of it at a time, okay? All right, let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Hey. Very nice letter. Thank you very much. Very nice. How are you, Miss Emily? Good. Hi, Mr. Grinthos. Hi. Have you seen the cake? No. You want to see it? Yeah. I'm just going to eat until I pass out. Oh, AJ's looking pretty glum. Tough. Ned. Come on, he brought it on himself. Oh, come on, like you've never made a mistake before? <laughs> Not like that. 
Oh, well, excuse me, but I seem to remember a certain little trip to Boston with, what was that little tramp's name? Gretchen, Gretel, Bertha. All right, that's it. That's it, right here. <laughs> okay, no sorry. More. I'm sorry. Give up. I'm sorry. Uncle. Oh, isn't that sweet? Spreading the wealth around, Brenda? I'm not surprised Miguel isn't enough for you. Where's your wife, Ashton? Were you here for the raffle? What raffle? Earlier. No. no, I don't think you were. Well, guess what? Uh, <laughs> you won the door prize. Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa! Hey, hey. Oh, whoa. Uh, yep. I owed you that, Corinthos. Come on, come on, it's a party now. It's a party, okay? Hey, hey! hey. Oh, 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 oh. Alan! Come on, oh, no! Don't even. You still owe me, tough guy. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. Okay? Oh, uh, man, this morning was off. I'm early. What happened to you? Uh, Ashton, you... We traded a couple blows after you and Robin split. Man, and I thought you were on good behavior. No parole for us. <laughs> Did you have a good time? Oh, uh, yeah, man. I mean, that book was awesome. People said things. I had no idea. Couldn't have been that much of a surprise. Oh, no, man, you're wrong. That book blew me away. I mean, take you, for example. I mean, it's not like I don't think you care about me. But when you sit down with a pen and paper and you write things and express yourself in a way that you might not feel comfortable face to face. Mm-hmm. I don't think I really understood this till I started reading, but the power of the written word. You can say these really heavy things, really quietly, with this impact. That, that's way too intellectual for me. Oh, right, <laughs> Mr. Dummy. Look, Ned Ashton wishes he were as smart as you. Yeah, that he does. <laughs> the only bummer was AJ. I feel terrible for him. How come? What, he got a raw deal, man. Getting kicked off the foundation, that's a yeah, low blow. Get, he got, he got busted with a hooker in a house he financed with his precious foundation. Uh-uh, I don't buy it, man. No. I mean, he got caught with the hooker, there's no denying that. Uh, minus his pants. <laughs> I know that, too. Right. But he got chomped, and that sucks. It's when... Did you and A.J. become such good buddies? What, A.J.'s okay? I mean, his jerk potential aside, he didn't deserve this. He's a quarter man. He'll survive. <laughs> I can tell you're all choked up about it. What do you want me to say? Nothing. All right. Like, you going to New York for Miguel's concert? Wouldn't miss it. Because Lois asked me to work, and I wanted... What'd you say? You are going? Why not? He's my product. I think they call it artist. Same difference. You're not going to cause trouble, are you? What trouble? I, I'm his manager. I'm entitled to certain perks, including primo seats, laminated backstage passes. Women are impressed by these things. Why shouldn't I take advantage? Uh, women? Maybe one in particular. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hello? And here she is now. Your ears must have been burning. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Scott. Oh, all right. Yeah, Ruby made some of those amazing lemon poppy seed muffins. You see this? What? Happens to me all the time now, man. Women see me, and all of a sudden, they get motherly on me. <laughs> I used to fight it, but now I just go with the flow. Wouldn't want to hurt the feelings. Oh, no, I, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Where's mine? Do I get one? Stone got the last. Sorry. Ooh. Oh, that's not cool. Tough luck, man. <laughs> I, I gotta go. I gotta go. Wait, wait, wait. You gonna share? No, this one has my name written all over it. All right. <laughs>